Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Tutorial Tuesday and today is all about did you know gameplay. I have eight tips and tricks gameplay solutions for you. So stay tuned. Did you know that by holding shift and clicking on your sim, there's an option to kill death by rabbit slaying. <laughs> Poor Eliza. She's definitely going down. I did try to do this to Thomas Watson, but no option when you're in front of kids. Now Bob is free to be happy. I think it's a great way to kill a sim if you don't have any options. And you definitely don't need a mod to do so. You simply just hold down the shift button while clicking your sim and bringing up the options. Poor Eliza, dying a slow, horrible death. Did you know that you can save your animals by just clicking the menu, go into options, and then go down to your pack settings. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see cottage living, uncheck that, and then you are saving your chickens, your cows, and your llamas. Just click apply changes, and you can get out of this menu and your chickens and your animals will live a very long and healthy life. Did you know the Seasons Pack and the Cottage Living Pack work really well together? You can simply have an Easter egg hunt to collect special eggs. You don't have to wait around for your chickens to lay them. You have to first have a chicken coop in your backyard. And of course, it has to be an Easter holiday season. If it's not in season, you can simply change it on your calendar and make any day a Easter day. So I can't wait to see what kind of eggs my little guy has collected. A rainbow egg, a green egg, and a chocolate egg, and many more. Did you know by just holding down the shift button and clicking your sim, you can turn into a plant sim? No need to level up your cooking. don't need the ice cream maker and you don't need to eat that forbidden fruit from that magical mystical bean but please be prepared for some time in the sun did you know if you hold down shift and click the mailbox and click altered needs and click fill needs household you fill the needs of everyone in the household not only can you do that but you can also fill the needs of the entire freaking world. Did you know you can ride a bike in first person view? Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the bike, the ride and bicycle, and then you are going to click your sim. And I'm gonna click her right now, but I am going to pause first. And when you are doing this, you click tab and shift together and it puts you in first person view. Now I'm going to continue on to the bicycle so my sim can ride it. She's going through the gate, going to the bicycle, getting on the bicycle. And this is just a really cool way to enjoy your sim's neighborhood wherever they are. They can see where things are. They can also see who's walking around the neighborhood. It's the perfect view for your sim. And it is a pretty nice view to see how beautiful the game really is. And when you are done, you just click tab and shift and you are out of first person view watching your sim ride the bike. Did you know if you buy the Tragic Clown painting from the Bill by Mold and view Tragic Clown, he will come to your door. Yes, Tragic Clown will come in 
into your home and say hello. You can even befriend him. Did you know that by holding your shift button and clicking the teleport, you can teleport your sim anywhere? No testing cheat, no high and wellness necessary. Just hold the shift and click on the ground and teleport anywhere. Thank you for joining me today. Please hit the subscribe button, hit that bell, like my video. I am Simavella signing out.